Hey there. In this uh, quick video, I'm going to introduce uh, one of your best friends if you are developing a website, especially if you're thinking in terms of uh, different devices. So uh, I'm just using this kind of as an arbitrary example just because I, I had it up already. Um, so uh, you probably, hopefully, already know about your developer tools. So I'm going to pop those open um, over here, developer tools, and that gives our, you know, our handy sidebar with the uh, various tools that, you know, you might have played with a little bit already if you have started writing HTML and CSS. So there's Elements, Console, Network are the three ones I use the most. Um, but what I want to call your attention to in this video is this little button right here, which is the device toolbar, I guess it's called. Um, click that. And what this does is it lets you sort of simulate what a website will look like on different devices. Um, so I was on just my regular old laptop, just has like with a big monitor. And now I am looking at what this website, in this case, what Twitter <laughs> looks like uh, on a Pixel 5. Um, so you can see that's kind of the mobile view and it gets into some of the ideas of, you know, responsive design and mobile first development and progressive enhancement, all that stuff that, that I've talked about in other videos. Um, but for, for our purposes, if you are developing a web page and you want to look at what your website will look like on different devices, this button is your best friend. Um, so I can look at other devices. So maybe I'll go back to like an iPhone SE. What does it look like an iPhone? It's just a little smaller and you can double check that your content looks okay on an iPhone without physically having an iPhone in your hand, uh, which is really, really handy. Um, so let me turn it off just to go back to desktop. So you can kind of see the, the big differences. Um, I... Uh, right now it's just in like the default desktop. I, my, my screen's a little uh, small right now just for the purposes of the video, but this is what it looks like on desktop. And I can click this button and now I can see this is what it looks like on an iPhone. So yeah, if you are developing a web page and you're writing HTML and CSS and you are trying to figure out what your content will look like on different devices and different screen sizes, this button is your is your best friend. So I recommend checking it out. All right, thanks.